Audi. So these are the basic components you need for a solar setup. And you can do this pretty cheap by yourself if you go and buy everything separate. They sell kits for you and they're like over a thousand bucks. What you're gonna need first is a battery and make sure it's a deep cycle battery. So basically what you do is you run the solar panels to this. This is a charge controller. And from the charge controller, the wires go into the battery. And I'll show you how I'm wiring that all up. So here's a little wiring diagram. And in the middle you have the battery. And then to the right of it, you have your power inverter, which is basically your outlet. And above it, you have the uh, charge controller. So you're going to run the solar panel into the charge controller. And from the charge controller, you run it directly to the battery. But basically, this just prevents the solar panels from overpowering the battery and burning it up. So you definitely want to get one of these. And then from the battery... To be able to plug it into an outlet, you're just need, gonna need a power inverter. You're definitely gonna want a pretty powerful one. This one's 110 watts. So behind this is uh, the bed I made. Basically, just a big piece of foam. And then right here is a super efficient fridge and freezer, which we're gonna test that out. This thing's like good knee high, but it doesn't take up too much space. From this inverter it's just plugged into the freezer it's super energy efficient so it shouldn't drain this too much and it's pretty cool too it came with a cigarette lighter plug so if you guys don't have a battery or a solar setup or anything you can just plug it into your car all right so we got a problem got to figure out how to rig these up on top of a fiberglass cap i think there's wood dowels in there so I think I can just drill a 2x4 onto the side here if I can hit those dowels. And then I can just connect it to the solar panel. Here she comes walking in and she sure got me wishing for a little bit of time. All right, I just took everything out because I'm gonna take this bed out and I'm gonna put insulation under it. All right, now I'm laying in this just for like a, kind of like a carpet and also just like the bottom of my bed.
So this is just a uh, expandable sawhorse that I found at Ace. And I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna use it to prop up the lid.